Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. All right, it's now Sunday, the third day of my four day weekend. If you watched my video yesterday, you saw I had a catastrophic failure of my new newer carbon fiber tripod. So I am using today, and I'm gonna test this all out just to make sure it's all peachy keen and be very guarded as I'm doing so. I have the eye footage carbon fiber monopod. I put the newer carbon fiber gimbal head onto the iFootage carbon fiber monopod. And I'm using my A7R4 with the grip in addition to the Sony 200 to 600 lens. I have the birding gear all set up, well, carbon fiber on the monopod and everything, but I also brought this, my running gun ZV-1 on, you know, the battery grip, but I also brought the newer aluminum tripod and I'm not worried about the ZV-1 cracking off of there hopefully knock on wood right uh, so I brought that along so that I can actually film and show you what I'm doing I realized yesterday you got to see me talking like this as, as I walked into the park and then you saw me after I came out of the park with you know all my gear in pieces so now what we're gonna do is I'm pulling up here to Pleasure House Point uh, I'm going to get all this together and get all suited out and all that kind of stuff. And we're going to walk in and, and we're going to do some birding. So let's go get that done. Okay, so when I'm talking about the treacherous little spot between the two lakes, this is what I'm talking about. You know, most of the time there are birds over there, but there are people fishing and throwing shit in the water right over there. So there probably aren't going to be anybody here. I see a lot of people on the path, so this might, might not be too fruitful. But let's go see what we see. All right, kids. This has been a relatively unbirdful birding outing. I only saw one what looked like a great blue heron all the way on the other side of that first area. And now it looks like I can see like a, 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 like a, a white yellow-billed egret over on the other side as well. All right, so this hasn't been a very fruitful trip as far as uh, actually getting any bird shots. I've seen three, four-ish, uh, and they're all really far away. So I'm not really thinking I'm going to get a lot of pictures today. Um, unless I just sit here for a while and see what happens. Again, there are too many people here, but that's not the point. The point is just coming out here and enjoying myself and engaging with nature to see if I can get some decent pictures. Today is also about testing this whole setup out. I'm about five feet away from the ZV-1 and it was a perfect place to put that and to set this monopod up in my little collapsible stool, what I've remembered to bring. I also have my backpack and plenty of water. <laughs> Monkey thought of everything today, I think. Okay, so here's what we've got. I've got the iFootage Cobra 2 C122 monopod, carbon fiber monopod. It has the tripod feet at the bottom, which you can disconnect and then take this portion up here and disconnect this and stick it down so that's just on those little feet and it's awesome it is heavy though it is not carbon fiber it's all heavy grade aluminum as is you know all the fittings and everything they can't make everything a carbon fiber i have this newer carbon fiber gimbal head and what that allows me to do is spin this camera in whichever direction up down and you know um wherever it needs to go and right now it's not balanced perfectly because I have been carrying it around and, and maneuvering it. But basically you set these gimbals up so that wh whichever angle you put it at, it stays. And it just makes it a nice smooth transition. So that way you can get birds in flight or just however you gotta move. If you see a bird and it's sitting in a particular place, you can just leave this right there. Look down at your screen and occasionally just reach out and hit the button. At this point now, I have taken this setup from the truck outside of Pleasure House Point, and I have walked all the way to the other side and stopped at various places in between to look, 
just to stop and enjoy and to try to get a couple of shots of some birds. All the while, taking it, locking it down, now it ain't moving, and carrying it like this. As you can see, it's pretty steady on my shoulder. Now right now, it's digging into my shoulder because the stuff is really sharp. You know, sharp edges and everything. And I'm trying to keep most of my, my uh, the weight down here where it connects, just so that I have, have a majority of the weight on my shoulder, not tipping way back behind me so it's putting pressure on the joints or anything. I think I've got a winning setup finally. And now that I've got the carbon fiber gimbal head to go with the carbon fiber monopod, it's light enough, it's transportable enough, and it's all sturdy enough for me to have my gear that I carry with me all the time so that I can get good bird shots. And that's all I asked for. If I had this stuff and I remember to bring everything with me, I'm good to go now and I feel confident. And this is a small enough setup that, that I can literally just, you know, collapse it all down, throw it on the front seat and go. And I won't ever take this apart now. So the, the gimbal head will stay connected to this eye, uh, eye footage monopod. And, you know, I keep the plate on the bottom of the lens foot there. And I pretty much, it, like, it, it takes me less than 30 seconds to balance it. I pretty much know where it is. Okay, so after yesterday's frightening scare of, of having the gimbal head break off right here on that newer carbon fiber tripod, I don't, have, I don't have a 600 millimeter lens on here. I'm not doing this professionally. I'm doing this for fun, and, which doesn't mean that I want to cheap out. And I still don't think that I cheaped out with the newer stuff especially since I've gotten feedback from people saying they're using the exact same thing with heavy gear and they've never had a problem. It must have just been a fluke. Regardless, I've got my winning setup now. I know yesterday I was very upset with Neewer and saying I wasn't going to use any of their stuff anymore, but again, I've got this gimbal head. I'm using the aluminum version of the tripod that snapped yesterday, but I'm only putting the ZV-1 on it, so I think I'm okay. That's all I wanted to talk about today, so... Let's hear it for eye footage. I'll kind of give a, 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 a little pat on the back to Neewer, even though they haven't gotten back to me yet, uh, for this carbon fiber gimbal head. And of course, my lovely Sony gear, which, which is helping me capture all these amazing birds. So as always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.